What's up, YouTube? It's Elijah One Dream, and we're finally back with another video. It's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded, but I've been some doing some live streams on the weekends. Um, I hope to keep that up, actually, kind of do some videos during the week, live streaming during the weekends, maybe. Uh, but it's been a few weeks, and I figured I'd get you guys a video. Somebody requested, how do you do the spin dunk with uh, cam hand tutorial? So I figured that's a great video. I'll throw that in a video along with the Euro dunk and the spin dunk and the hop dunk. Just so you guys get an extra better feel for it. Honestly, you don't see too many people playing these moves out in the park or pro-am. When they announced that these would be in the game, I thought people would be doing them a lot more. But you honestly don't see it too much. And I definitely abuse these moves. I can't even lie. Sometimes you end up forcing it and it's a terrible shot. And a really forced Euro step or something like that. But sometimes you can get some really nice animation layups out of these. But once again, you don't want to try and force it. But me, I, I got to go for some clips sometimes. So sometimes I do force it ends up being a bad shot. Also, I do not believe you need any sort of driving dunk requirement. Uh, that's, it's not confirmed. That's not 100%. I've never heard anything about it. But what I do believe is the higher driving dunk you have, the more likely you're going to be able to make it and pull the moves off in game. I am 6 foot 11 with a 79 driving dunk. So I can do these moves a little bit further out than other people because I'm 6 foot 11. I have long legs, which means longer strides, longer steps. If you're 6 foot 3, 6 foot 1, you're tiny like that and you're a shot creating slasher or slasher of any sort, you're probably going to have to be a little bit closer to the net to do this and pull it off in game. It makes sense. It's simple physics. Like That's just how life works. Anyways, let's get right into it. The spin dunk. So you can control which way you spin with the left stick. If you hold the left stick to the right, you will spin to the right. If you hold the left stick to the left, you will spin left. Sorry, my mic is kind of hitting my face right now. I just got to readjust it. I'm very sorry for that. Anyways, spin dunk. All you got to do is the spin. You run to the net, hold R2, double tap square to initiate the spin. And once you're about halfway through, three quarters done your spin, hold R2 and square and you will dunk it. So just like this. Boom, just like that. You might even be able to hear my buttons clicking. So I went tap, tap, he spun, and I tapped again and held it for the dunk. So just like this, hold to the left. Sometimes you may not get it right there. Uh, I don't know why it didn't get it right there. I did hold square again, but it must have been a little bit too late. Once again, double tap square. And then you just hold it again, R2, simple spin dunk. Very effective in the fast break, or you say you have one man to beat. Or you got two man coming through. Do you want to split the D? Very simple. Boom, spin. Boom. You get some really cool dunk animations out of this. And it's very effective and simple to do. So all you got to do, drive in, double tap square. He's a bit too far there. Um, he faded away. That's because I was actually holding away from the net. So he did do that. But once again, spin to the left. Hold down. Oh, let's shoot a fade away instead. Sorry, guys. See, that's what I mean. You got to be able to start yours. I started mine from about the free throw line. If you're a guard, you might want to start that a little bit sooner because you might be able to get it. See, the free throw line is a little bit too far away to do it. So you got to be a little bit in even for me. So even just inside the paint, there you go. Just like that. You got to get close enough to the net to do it, as you can see there. Otherwise, you're going to get animations of just layups. You got to get close enough to do that. I'm actually glad that happened to me because this might be a question for some of you of why isn't my guy dunking it? He's just doing layups like that. Make sure you get close enough to the net to do it. So the next one, the Euro step. Very simply, um, if you guys don't know how to do a Euro step, uh, you just simply double tap square. Double, that's supposed to be a euro step but the layup package I layup package I have on of dominant big man for some reason his euro steps like he just does kind of like a cool gather and then he dunks it but he doesn't really do like a Dwayne Wade or managing over like really sells you one direction and then comes back the other way he does, uh, this layup package doesn't really do that but I still get some really nice euro steps and I love some of the gathers that he does with it Anyways, guys, it's very simple once again. Do the Euro step, double tap, square, and then once you do that, you just R2 and square once again. So just like this, double tap, and then you just hold R2 again. Honestly, you can just double tap, square, hold it, and then once you want to dunk, you just press R2 or hold R2. So just boom. 
It's super easy. And you can tell that I'm doing the Euro step because my layup meter shows up. So that's how you know that you're doing it right. That's how you're getting the Euro step animation. See, there's my layup meter. Boom. I press R2, hold R2, he dunks it. It's amazing. Super effective, especially between defenders beating one. It makes for some really nice highlights. Sometimes he pulls out some even like one-handed windmill dunks or cradle dunks. I've had some really cool stuff with this. So just boom, drive in, double tap, R2, boom. You get some cockback animations. Super clean, super nice. Try it out with any of your builds. See what you can get. If you guys got that circus layout package on and you're like 6'5 and taller, I think you can pull out some real nasty dunks and especially some of like the between the legs zero steps you get those are gonna be comboed into some really nice clean looking highlight plays and then the next one <clears throat> this was my favorite off the start of the year and then i eventually started going to spins and euros but this one is still super effective you guys have seen me do this a ton the hop dunk all you got to do run in if you want to hop to the left hold left on the, the left stick left if you want to go right hold left on the left stick or the left stick to the right. I'm sorry, I got my merge wicks there a little bit. But anyways, so you just run in, top square to left, and then boom, hold R2 and square once you land. That's all you gotta do. It's very simple, very effective. You do a hop to the right, tapped it, boom. You even get nice gathers like that as well. Super simple. So you just go, if you wanna do the hop to the right, the left stick to the right, Top square, he does it once he lands. So R2 and square at the same time together. So boom. Oh, I did see. Once again, you have to be able, you have to do it close enough to the net, or you're gonna get what I just got there. I'm glad that this happens because this stuff can easily happen to you guys as well. It does happen to me sometimes in game when I'm trying to do it. But if that animation happens to me, I usually just pass out because he usually fumbles the ball after. See, watch this. Oh. Sorry, I, I lost the ball there. That's all right. It's green. <clears throat> See, if I go like this... Oh, no. You know what? It doesn't even matter anymore. I'm just going to show you guys the hop dunk one more time. If I do some type of hop step with the square button, I ended up fumbling the ball. It's going to be an easy steal. Anyways, once more time. One more time. Left hop dunk. Tap it. Boom. Boom. It's very simple. Left tap square he jumps as soon as he hits his feet r2 and square together once again that's too far away about the free throw line you want to get inside the paint to do it i am doing a little too far away so you can get nice little clean Dwayne wade over the head uh animation for the dunk anyways you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it helps out your game i hope you guys get some nasty highlight clips with this because these moves are so clean and i don't think they're utilized enough in the game anyways y'all follow me on twitter at elijah one dream the exact same gamer tech exact same youtube channel name everything on twitter follow me on twitter send me some of your clips of you guys doing these in game maybe i'll throw in a nice highlight video for the fans you know what maybe we can get a fan mixtape going together that'd be pretty cool Anyways, you guys, hit me up on there. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.